hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you about divide and conquer algorithm in the subject of design and analysis of algorithms so basically in this video we will learn what is design and sorry divide and conquer algorithm uh, the working algorithm and then what are the applications of divide and conquer so basically the name itself says divide and conquer one of the algorithms or it is one of the algorithm solving strategy in algorithm solving strategies we have different like we have greedy method we have branch and bound we have divide and conquer we have so many methods backtracking so among all those methods divide and conquer is one of them so it is uh, one of the algorithm solving uh, method as i already said here what we will do is we will divide a bigger problem into number of sub problems okay then we will solve each sub problem we will be solving each sub problem and then we will combine all the solutions together so all these solutions are combined so first what we will do we are dividing the problem we are dividing a bigger problem into smaller parts and then we are solving them and then again we are combining all those solutions to obtain the final solution so here is the picture like it will be more clear for you you are you are dividing a bigger problem p into p1 p2 and so on up to pn okay and then you are finding solution for each of them for p1 s1 for p2 s2 like that you are finding solution for each and every problem and then you are combining all these problems into the final solution now so what is the solution for the problem p the solution is s but did you get s directly no first you divided p into number of sub parts then you solve for each sub part of p and then you combine all the solutions to get the final solution s okay so this is all about divide and conquer now let us try to understand with the, with an algorithm you write this algorithm in your exam so first you have to apply divide and conquer of p dac is nothing but divide and conquer of p that means you are passing a problem into divide and conquer algorithm next if we have conditions here if p is very small if suppose p is very small you cannot further break it right for example you have an expression like this 2 plus 3 plus 3 minus 1 into 4 plus 8 something like that you have an expression like this okay in this case it has multiple parts first you have to add 2 and 3 you have to subtract 3 and 1 you have to add 4 and 8 then you have to combine all these so this is an example of divide and conquer instead of this suppose you have only 2 plus 3 then can you further sort or divide it no right you can just add it simply so if p is very small then you can directly write the solution for p okay if p is small of smaller size then you can directly do the solution for p if it is not a smaller one then what you have to do you have to divide p into number of sub problems p1 p2 p3 and so on up to pn in this case we are dividing it into four sub parts p1 p2 p3 okay and then you are applying divide and conquer on p1 divide and conquer on p1 in the sense again from starting if it is smaller then you will solve it directly again inside this also if you have still more bigger sub problem then you can divide it further okay so now you are solving it 2 plus 3 is 5 3 minus 1 is 2 4 plus 8 is 12 okay you solved it and last you have to combine it so you have to combine dac of p1 is nothing but what s1 okay this is s1 this is s2 this is sn so you are combining all these outputs so what is the combining operator in between this plus and here we have multiplication you can simply do that okay so this is about divide and conquer algorithm if it is very if the problem which you have taken is very small you can directly find the solution if it is bigger you can divide it into number of sub problems and then apply divide and conquer algorithm on each of the sub problem and then combine all the solutions okay now let us see what are the applications we have four applications binary search quick sort merge sort and stresen's matrix multiplication 
so we will be learning about each of them in the next coming videos in the next video you'll learn about binary search then i'll explain you about quick sort then merge sort and all four okay so yeah this is all about this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section so let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic thank you